yeah good morning so let's discuss about the addressing modes of microcontroller <coughs> So these addressing modes which are help us to work with the various things with your microcontrollers like suppose coming to the addressing modes of your assembly programming language so which needs to help us like whenever you are looking to operate your CPU registers and RAM memory and ROM memory like whenever you people are looking to operate these things with your microcontroller the CPU consists of some limited number of registers which are A, B, R0, R1, R2 like this which will support all the registers from your device and coming to RAM memory which is supporting 128 bytes and this 128 bytes means which is 00H to 7FH and coming to this uh, ROM memory which is supporting 4 kilobytes here and 4 kilobytes means so already know that the address calculation which is started from 00H to 0 triple FH and which is decimal representation should be 0 to 4095 and here 00H 0 to 127 so this is the way the inbuilt things with your device which has providing some list of registers and which is providing some limited number of limited quantity of memory and here also which is providing some limited quantity of fixed memory within the device and now whenever you are looking to write program on these registers and memories and your ROM memories so you people have to follow these addressing modes from your assembly programming language and your 8051 will support five addressing modes which are immediate addressing mode and register addressing mode and direct addressing mode register indirect addressing mode and indexed addressing mode so these are the five addressing modes for your device which will support immediate registers direct register indirect and indexed and how this immediate addressing mode which is help us here immediate addressing mode means which is going to use to store a constant value into register or constant value into memory location so that way this immediate addressing mode is help us like coming to the syntax of immediate addressing mode so once you take one instruction here so suppose if I am taking move a comma has 12h so within this instruction this move is the mnemonic and these two are the operands and the two in these two operands a is a register and 12h is our constant value so that means you already discussed as an instruction so in your instruction as an operands what you can take either registers or constant values so this constant value is a part of your instruction then it will come under your immediate so immediate immediate instruction immediate addressing mode itself which will support to store a constant value into register into register or into memory locations anywhere so but the constant value is a part of your instruction it will become your immediate addressing mode so that is the use of your immediate addressing mode so which is help us to store a constant value so finally your immediate addressing mode means what the way of accessing data how you people are going to access the data into registers how the people you people are going to access the data into memory so if you are looking to access a constant value into register it will comes under immediate addressing mode and coming to register addressing mode so what is what way you people can work with this register addressing mode so the two register addressing mode means which is going to use to store the data between register and whenever you are looking to share the data between register then you people have to follow this register addressing mode so that means here what we this example for your register addressing mode once you people are going to take the registers as a operands based on the operands you people will decide this addressing mode if the constant value is a part of your instruction which is comes under immediate and as a operands you people are looking to take both source and destination should be registers it will comes under register addressing mode so the two the two registers which be which will equal size so equal size means so a should be 8 bit register and R1 is also 8 bit register here so then only you people can share your data between two equal registers it will comes under register addressing mode so suppose if I am taking one more example move dptr comma a so these two are so registers but here 
16 DPTR is your 16 bit register and accumulator is your 8 bit register which is not possible in this case why because there is a two different sizes registers so which will not allow in the register addressing mode so both should be equal size then only it will comes under register addressing mode and one more note here whenever you are looking to share data between general purpose register to general purpose register which is also not possible so this is the only note here whenever you are approaching register addressing mode so that means our final intention is to share the data between registers and share the data between memory locations and share any any constant value into uh, registers or locations okay coming to your immediate which is supporting to store a constant value into register and coming to register addressing mode which is help us to share the data between registers next what about direct addressing mode this direct addressing mode which is help us to share the data between ram memory location to ram memory locations so that means what way you people can write example this direct addressing mode so if, if suppose i am taking move 00 h comma 20 h then here the both operands should be address locations and there too which address locations here which are ram memory locations now what i am doing here move 00 h comma 20 h means so which is allowing the data from 20 h memory locations to 00 h location so now 20 h is your source and 00 h is your destination so now you people are sharing the data between 20 h location to 00 h location so that way your direct addressing mode which is help us to share data between ram memory location to ram memory location so that that is your direct addressing mode and coming to register indirect addressing mode now my intention is to access this memory location by using register so without using direct address uh, suppose coming to register indirect addressing mode so i want to access ram memory location so with the help of register name and as a possibility for us you people can use the two registers as a pointer register generally pointer means what which will hold the address of memory location so now your microcontroller is supporting the both r0 and r1 as a pointer registers to access your ram memory locations and what way these two registers will work here if suppose i want to access some 60h memory location from my ram location then what you have to do here move this address value you have to assign for your register and if you have to move at the rate so this at the rate r0 represents which will become address now so initially it is a value and how it is becoming address here whenever you people are placing this at the rate symbol this 60h will become address move at the rate r0 comma has 12h for these two instructions what happens in your ram memory so the 60h location which will hold your 12h value so this is the way of working your pointer register okay and otherwise how to replace the two instructions with single one here you people can directly write move 60h comma has 12h both are same but now once you will use like this it will comes under direct addressing mode and here i am not using any direct address 60h so initially which is a value and how it is becoming address by placing this at the rate symbol for your register so and as a pointer registers you people can use the both two registers here r0 and r1 this is about your register indirect addressing mode and the final one which is indexed addressing mode so that means in the case of register indirect what our people are doing you can access your registers you can access your memory locations through registers so because your ram memory which will allows both read operations and as well as write operations so my intention coming to the immediate which is direct constant value into registers and coming to register in between registers you can share your data and coming to direct addressing mode which will allows to do the operations with your ram memory location to ram memory location and coming to register indirect which will supports to move the value from register to address location to register and how to access this address location by using a pointer register by as a pointer registers you people can use this both r0 and r1 and coming to indexed addressing mode so this indexed addressing mode the final remaining thing which is rom memory now i want to read the data from rom memory so this indexed addressing mode which will help us 
and coming to index addressing mode so which is help us to get the value from rom location to registers and to access the data from this rom location so you people have to use as a dptr as a pointer register why because the address of rom memory should be 16 bit here and because of 8 bit size of address i can take this r0 nor one as a pointer register in the case of ram memory but coming to the rom memory the address of rom memory location should be 16 bit so i am approaching this dptr as a 16 bit register here so that 16 bit register means the possible syntax for your device is whatever the rom location you are going to access just assign this address value to dptr first so suppose if i am looking to 0800h so this is my rom location if i want to get the information from this just use the syntax move c a comma at the rate of a plus dptr so already you know that while placing this at the rate symbol this will become address so i now i am assigning this dptr as a 0800h and what i am writing the syntax move c here c stands for code memory so as a code memory what you are calling here rom so move c a this is my destination comma at the rate a plus dptr already what you assigned for your dptr 800h now this 800h will become the address of this rom memory and the, whatever the information present within this 800h location which will be moved to accumulator so that means from rom locations there is a possibility to get the information from rom to register and whatever the information you are getting to register and you people can go for ram because with ram memory you can do both read and write operations with the registers thank you